ceremony is about ready to begin. Please silence your cell phones at this time. Anyone objects to the union of this couple, speak now, forever hold your peace. Before we begin, Nicholas and Catherine would like to pause for a moment to remember those who can't be present here today and those who are no longer with us. Now, as we begin, Nicholas and Catherine would like to take a moment to especially thank and recognize their parents. These are special people who helped raise them into the adult persons they become today. They have equipped and embraced Nicholas and Catherine towards their hopes and dreams and welcome their new spouse into their hearts, their homes, and their lives. As Nicholas and Catherine begin this next chapter of lives together, we'd like to simply pause and say thank you. We gather as a community of family and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Nicholas and Catherine. The world is filled with harmony. Soaring birds, towering trees, brisk wind, animals of all kinds, a little bit of rain. <laughs> each unique, each in relationship and harmony with the others. Nicholas and Catherine have come here to affirm their love for each other and enter into this beautiful tapestry of life. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey in which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servanthood. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering. Marriage is not an event, but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilling. Today, Nicholas and Catherine, we come together bringing all of you to this marriage, all of your wonderful parts, all of your hurts and pains. We especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. In preparing for today, Catherine, Nicholas shared, I knew you are the one for me because we share so many common interests and complement each other in ways we are different. You're perfect for me because you're funny, passionate, career-driven, who looks just as beautiful at a classy event as you do hiking a few miles to a good climbing spot. Plus, you have a wonderful dog, Stella. <laughs> <laughs> and Nicholas, Catherine shared, I knew you were the one for me when you planned a hiking trip along the Appalachian Trail for a weekend. And you're perfect for me because you always make me laugh you're easygoing, and you never say no to me. 
<laughs> Additionally, you're a good cleaner. <laughs> you both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future to the other's care, and you have excellent reasons for believing you belong together, but you have no guarantees. Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating the future together. You promise to be faithful to one another in big things as well as small, and your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to beautiful hopes you have for your future. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today. You may not feel much evidence of the love you now feel so keenly. At such a time, remember this moment. Remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will, before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithful to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings, keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. Faithfulness is built from 10,000 minute acts of trust and trustworthiness. In such faith, you'll find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. Nicholas and Catherine, have you come here freely without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage? If so, say, I have. Before family and friends ask you to affirm your vows to each other as you enter into this marriage and begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. <laughs> Nicholas, do you take Catherine to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and health? And forsaking all others, be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live. Yeah. And Catherine, do you take Nicholas to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. May I have the rings? <laughs> 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 These rings are an outward and visible sign of invisible truth which binds two hearts in one. As such, they are the symbols of the enduring and unending quality of the love which is now expressed between Nicholas and Catherine. Oh. <laughs> Nicholas, repeat after me. Catherine. This ring I give you is my personal gift, my personal, gift. My personal, promise, personal promise of love, trust, and pride, love, trust, and pride that you are my wife. That you are my wife. <laughs> Catherine, repeat after me. Nicholas, Nicholas. This, ring this ring I give you is my personal gift, my personal, gift. My personal promise. My of love, trust, and pride, that you are my husband. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear and grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. <clears throat> Nicholas and Catherine have each written love letters to one another that describe the love they feel for each other at this moment and the bonds that will keep their love fluid and ever flowing throughout each day of their lives together. Unread by the other, the letters will be placed in this box to open on a future anniversary as a reminder of their love and as a recommitment to their marriage. 
We have placed this box in plain sight so that each day that passes you look at it and be reminded of your vows today, and that your love, though imperfect, is forever entwined and ever growing. Nicholas and Catherine, in the future, happy occasions will come as surely as the morning. Difficult times will come as surely as the night. To say the words love and compassion is easy, but to accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not easy. Nicholas and Catherine, as much as you've declared your willingness to enter the state of marriage with each other, declare the same in the company of these witnesses. By the virtue of authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife. It's my pleasure to introduce you all for the first time, Nicholas and Catherine, as husband and wife. Nicholas, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Wanted you to be my sweet honeybee, and if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I wanted you to shade me and be my leaves. Sweaty like a sea. 